Why is my husband so mad at me? I, F25, was in the shower while he, M28, was on his way back home from work. He usually calls when he's driving back home. I forgot my phone was on silent. I usually silence it at the gym so I can focus. I never turn the volume back on. I get out the shower and notice 8 missed calls from him in the span of 10 minutes. Those 10 minutes I was still in the shower. I didn't hear but called back right away. It only took me 12 minutes to call back but as I was calling back he was already entering the house. He hasn't talked to me in 2 days. We were supposed to go to our favorite restaurant that night but he said, I'm not fucking going anymore you ruined my mood. And I asked what was so important and he said it didn't matter anymore since I didn't answer. I've explained to him many times that calling repeatedly in a small time span won't change anything if I'm not able to get to the phone but he doesn't seem to understand. Am I crazy for thinking he's unreasonable? This gives me such anxiety that it makes my hands shake and raises my heart rate when I think about it for too long. We're still not talking. This is like the fourth time he's freaked out about missed calls. He says things like, I should just delete your number since you never answer anyway. However, the majority of the time I answer. This happens every couple months. Sorry I'm taking a long time to reply I don't want him to catch me on here talking about it. I hate my life. Edit. You guys are helping a lot and making me realize I'm really being reasonable. Sometimes I wonder if I'm just evil for not agreeing with him on these type of things but you guys bring me a lot of clarity. Sis this sounds like a huge red flag, respectfully, and I suspect it's not the only one. There's a few problems I see from your post. Clearly he has a control issue when it comes to where you are and what you are doing. Then him overreacting and gaslighting you into thinking this is your fault is absolutely nuts. No man, not even your husband, should give you so much anxiety especially over a situation like this. Take care of yourself and listen to your gut. Sounds like you need to talk this out with him, maybe with the help of a therapist, or this is a relationship you really need to reevaluate. Breaking up because of a gut feeling. It occurred to me, M21, that in a relationship where you are the best version of yourself you've ever been, and giving your all to your so, no one can doubt your good faith without tangible proofs right. Well, what if your significant other has a gut feeling that you're lying to them, not being yourself or whatnot, and would believe the hunch that she caught rather than hard, cold facts? LSS, my girlfriend, F26, is utterly convinced that I am lying to her and not being myself, while I can't say anything because apparently her gut feeling has always been right in the past. And now I'm stuck in a position where I can't do anything, and I am lost. Any thoughts on how a gut feeling can be proven wrong? Any similar stories with an ending to it? It comes down to trust. She doesn't have that in you. And it sounds like you've done your level best to make yourself as transparent and trustworthy as possible. Dot. So then it becomes a question of compatibility. I hate to see you have to fight this hard to clear your name when you're innocent. I don't know what more you can do to win her back. I would not encourage you to let he go through your phone or search history. You've got too much dignity for that. I just let her know that you've been nothing but fair in the entire time you've known her. And if this is something she truly can't get past, then maybe it's time for you both to hang em up and move on separately. All that best self stuff sounds great but you can't control what others think so not much you can do. You don't want to be with someone who doesn't trust you so it's time to move on. A relationship that's two months old should not require this level of work or introspection to keep on track. You're not compatible. Who is the prize? My girlfriend, 25 female, and I, 27 male, have been together for three years. Two days ago, we had a disagreement and she told me that she is the prize and I should remember that. Since we have been in the relationship she has never said anything like that and I have never called myself a prize in a relationship. TBH nothing is wrong if she values herself but the way she said, I am the prize, it sounded like she had more value than me. So I asked her yesterday to elaborate on what she meant and she said that she is the prize and I am the partner. She values me equally but she was courted so she is the prize. Not gonna lie, this doesn't sit well with me. I have done a lot more for her than what she has done for me. So her calling herself the prize while I am the partner just seems like she is more valuable in the relationship. What do you guys think? TD. LR my girlfriend called herself the prize and I am the partner. It does not sit well with me. My ex used to say, I always put number one first and I'm hash one inch he didn't lie. She ain't no prize if she's bragging about being one. She told you how she feels about your dynamic, power balance. 
Now you decide if that's the kind of person, relationship you want to be with. Personally, I don't think I'd date someone who even thought about a power balance. Ideally, you just want someone who loves you back with the same effort that you put into it. Drop her. She is essentially trying to say, I can do better than you, so do what I say, or else, run, run fast. Calling yourself the prize is a lot like giving yourself your own nickname, you just don't do it. It's one thing if your partner calls you the prize and is very romantic if they do so, but you never call yourself the prize. Either you are both partners or you aren't in a functional relationship. Oh God. In this scenario, you're definitely the prize my man. That shit's so basic I think I puked a little glitter. I, 27, am getting a tattoo. Boyfriend, 29, says it's a turnoff. My boyfriend and I have been dating for around 4 years, almost 5. I have a couple of tattoos, 3 of them, and obviously my boyfriend knows that and he has said that they're cute. I haven't gotten a new tattoo ever since we started dating just to save money but now I'm in a place where I can get a new one and I've been really excited about it, and I've finally booked an appointment for a tattoo that I've wanted to have for years. He's known that I've wanted more tattoos in the future and also know the styles that I like. I let him know thinking he would be excited for me, but he's not excited or happy for me at all. He said that the art style is a turn off and that I should get it because it'll make me happy, but that he might not be as attracted to me anymore. I think he's being a little ridiculous because I haven't even told him how it's going to look like, only where it's being placed, my back. He's being completely stubborn about this when he hasn't even seen the design yet and I'm confused as to whether he even liked my old tattoos in the first place or if he doesn't want me getting more of them. I told him that I was okay with it if he wasn't as attracted to me anymore and now he's changing it and saying that he might not be attracted to me at all anymore. I feel like I'm being threatened with a breakup over a tattoo and I feel like he's completely overreacting about this? I understand that people have their preferences but I thought that he'd be completely okay with this, but he's not. I don't really know what to do, it feels like he's giving me an ultimatum. Get a tattoo if you want it. It is totally your choice. He can like it or it might be a turn off for him people do have preferences. So yes, he might break up with you. It is not controlling, it just happens. Some things are not for everyone. Good news at the end you will meet a partner who has more matching taste. As he said, get the tattoo if it makes you happy. It is your body and what you choose to do with it is at your discretion. He also, either deciding to stick around or leave is at his discretion.